So my channel is still pretty small, but lately people have been asking me if I'm going to make a Discord server. Originally, the answer was no, because I make weekly devlogs and setting up a Discord server takes a lot of time. But then I was just going about my day when Discord bot developer Ender Elias contacted me and was like, yo, I'll make you a Discord bot for a future Discord server. I then realized that I could actually make a video out of this because he planned to use Discord.py and I've never used Python before. So we agreed to work together on it and I started designing the logo. And because my graphic design skills are top notch, I managed to make one by inverting the colors of my normal logo. When that was done, I figured I would actually start working on some programming because that's kind of what I signed up to do. Elias and I both agreed to start with only the most essential features of the bot. So naturally, he began by making a command called dog. The dog command just sends a request to some API and it will return an image of a dog. He had also finished up a ban command and a command to bring up the help menu. At this point, I had to start programming so I first had to start learning Python. It was a little awkward for me to start Python because Python is a hybrid between procedural and object-oriented programming. Whereas I'm only fluent in Java and C Sharp, which are both statically typed object-oriented programming languages. But just like learning any other language, Stack Overflow and the language's docs were really helpful. Anyway, the first thing I did was create a command to Google things. I've been in countless discords and forums where people post a question that they just haven't Googled. So my solution is to do it for them. In the past few months, I found this website called letmegoogledat.com. You just type in what you want to Google and it'll generate a URL which people can go to to see how easy it is to really just Google their problem. I found that every URL for the website starts like this. And then if we just replace all the spaces in our query with plus signs, we get a valid link which people can actually go to. While I was doing this, Elias made this welcome embed for when people join the server. And to close out the basic features of the bot, I set the bot's presence to, well, this. The next feature we decided to program for the bot was a leveling system. Personally, I don't like the way most bots do leveling. Most bots, in one way or another, just end up doing it based off of the amount of messages you send. So I took inspiration from another bot and made it so that you level up when someone thanks you. The idea is that someone will use the thanks command on you after you've helped them in one of the help channels. This, I guess, just gives more motivation for people to help out. So I started by trying to save and load from a JSON files so that if the bot ever went offline, people's stats would still save. I spent way too many hours on this and had a ton of issues because I'm using Rider. Rider's a C-sharp IDE and I really like it and it has a Python extension that's the equivalent of the PyCharm Community Edition. So realistically, I should have just used PyCharm or even VS Code, but I didn't. But anyway, because of Rider's file encoding settings, these symbols were being added to the start of each JSON file. This is definitely intended, but I don't know enough about it to say anything, so I won't. The reason it took me so long to find this was because it wasn't actually showing up on the JSON file in Rider. I found out this was happening when I decided to actually print out what I was reading from the JSON file to the console. And even though this could have been fixed by switching to VS Code, I still stuck with Rider because I'm just that weird. After that was all figured out, I made a level command which would show the member's current level in a cool embed. This was pretty easy to do as I have all of the JSON data loaded into a dictionary. The dictionary just contains keys of member IDs and values of other dictionaries which contain the member's current level and their current cooldown. So I take the string level and get the value associated with it, which is of course pretty cool. Now, getting a member's current level is useless if we can't actually thank them. So I added a thanks command which will just increase the member passed in's level in the dictionary by one. And of course, after doing that, I save it to the JSON file. This works great for the most part, but does have a couple problems. First off, members can thank themselves, so I fixed this by making sure the member they were passing in wasn't themselves. And after adding a reasonable 60 second cooldown to thanking people, most of the problems are fixed. And finally, to finish up the leveling system, I made a leaderboard with the top 10 most thanked members. At the moment, this is across all the servers that NateBot is in, but it's really only in a testing server and this one, so it's fine. So if you've watched any of my other devlogs, you'll know that I'm working on an isometric mobile game called Alette. To plan milestones for the game and keep myself organized, I use Codex. If you're interested in learning more about that, I did a whole devlog on how I use Codex, so you should go watch it. But anyway, Codex has an official bot called Deki. With Deki, I can create a command which will allow members to suggest features. And if enough other users upvote it, it'll automatically get added to a deck on my Codex board. This is really cool as it allows the community to get really involved with developing this game. So of course, I set that all up. I then quickly made commands for muting and kicking members. And finally, set up a webhook on one of the channels in the server, which would make it receive updates whenever I push to the GitHub repo. 
At this point, I was almost done, and really the only thing I had to do besides actually figuring out how to host the bot was to make reaction rolls. And I really made a ton of rolls for this. The code was honestly some of the worst code I've ever written. I was super rushed for time, and Python doesn't have switch statements, so I just put a bunch of if-else statements and called it a day. In the future, we'll definitely be refactoring this, because it's pretty terrible to maintain. But I created a super big embed with all the reaction rolls, and they work pretty well. And while I was doing this, Elias made a YouTube command which will fetch something from the YouTube API and show a bunch of my stats, which is, of course, pretty cool. Before the server was finished, there were just a couple more things that we had to tackle. First off, I made this fancy embed with all of the server's rules. I then made it so that if a member reacts to the rules message with a spoon, they get the member role, which has permissions to see all of the channels. And you're probably wondering why verification is a spoon. And my answer to that is try eating yogurt with a fork. But anyway, I then made a couple of embeds that the bot sent in the bot info and how to suggest features channels. To finish up the bot, I had to figure out how to host it. Because up until now, I had just been running it from the rider command line. The issue with doing that is whenever I close rider or shut off my computer, the bot will disconnect from the server. And instead of paying for something, I decided to make a web server on REPL. The issue with that is the web server will go into sleep mode after an hour of not being pinged. This means that if nobody uses the bot for an hour, then it just goes offline. So I'm using this free service called Uptime Robot, which pings the web server every five minutes. This works super well, and now the bot's always online 24-7. And with that, the bot and the server were completely finished. It was super fun to team up with Elias, and we're going to continue working on the bot in the future. And like I said, the Discord server is set up, so you should really go join that. And yeah, hit like if you like, also hit like if you dislike, and please subscribe. And have a great day!